Hello, my beautiful things. Welcome back to Dee Dee's Main Thing. This is the cooking edition of Dee Dee's Main Thing. Um, last night I had a lot of extra crab legs and shrimp, king crab, shrimp, leftover, snow crab. So today I said I was going to make gumbo. And that's what I have in my pot here in the front. Gumbo brewing. And um, I'm also going to make the lemon meringue pie today. We're going to get right into that. I'm going to show you the... Let's see if you can see. I don't know if you can see or not. <clears throat> Last night, when I was eating the seafood broil for my birthday bash, I had the sausage and chicken and chicken gizzards over here cooking so that they can already be ready to save us time. And that's what it, you just saw. And what makes the water red, I hate to move this, but let me try. What makes the water red, I'm gonna do it slow so you don't get sick, dizzy, is the hot links. That's what you see. Can you see that without getting it so steamy and messing up my phone real quick? There we are. I'm gonna move it, I don't want the steam to mess my phone up. Um, yeah, so. You might wonder what made it red was the hot links. I have four hot links in there. Cut them up. I have chicken drumette, just three pieces. Then I have the chicken gizzard. Package of chicken gizzards, not the hearts, just the gizzard. And so far I have one shrimp in there that was out of place and I just threw it in here. And I have um, some rings, some squid rings, and I have a piece of piece or two of octopus in there. Some people say octopus, ooh, oh that octopus will get your life. So at this stage of it, when before I put my crab legs in and before it gets not enough room, I'm gonna add my roux and you can season it if you like but I have enough seasoning in there for me the um, garlic salt the Montreal steak seasoning salt and if you like some paprika you can put paprika if you're a spicy person I'm cool with it and like I said when I season the chicken and then the seasoning from the hot links, all that red you saw, I'm good with it. And then I'm gonna put in the um, crab legs, and that's also salty, you know, gives it a little more flavor. So I'm good. What I'm gonna do though, I think, is put um, a little bit more garlic. I'm gonna go with that. I got some minced garlic. Put about a tablespoon in of minced garlic. And here we go. And this is what I'm going to do with the garlic. I'm a garlic lover. I love garlic. See that? I'm going to dump that right into the pot. Last night, I um, put the butter sauce, I just made it, uh, it was yellow. And I made it with um, just garlic and butter. No paprika, no Montreal seasoning. It was delicious. So yeah, let that get incorporated. Just need that to sweat. And for this um, roux, you could do it for as thick as you like or as thick as you don't like. But this is about two tablespoons. Remember, I don't measure. This is about two. 
If you want to put your seasoning in, this is where you can put your seasoning in. I'm going to put just the red pepper seeds you get from pizza. I'm going to put one package of that in. Right into my. Normally you would put your um, seasoning salt. I used to use Lowry's right here. Lowry seasoning salt. Put a little in. Or your garlic salt. Garlic um, Montreal seasoning if that's what you're using. And now I'm going to whip it up. As soon as I get me a handy dandy fork here. And the way you want to do this roux is just with your um, with your soup, any soups, and you want it hot, bubbling hot. Just like this one is already. It's nice and bubbling hot. You can't do it with cold or else it'll clump up and lump up on you. You don't want that. Oh man, this smells so good already. And you want to do it where you have room in the pot so you have room to stir it around in and for it to really go through the pot. You don't want to do it with a pot that's all full. So with this roux, I just put a little bit of water. And the key to this is you want it pasty and then you just keep adding water. See how lumpy and clumpy that is? Well, that's how you do it so you don't, so you keep it pasty so you can work it. Because if it's too thin, you're not gonna be able to work it. You're gonna have to put more and more flour and try to work it out. And then you're gonna have too much flour, more than you really want it. So yeah, this will be here and you just Keep working it. And don't forget you would normally have your seasoning in here. Um, I put my garlic right in the pot. You saw that. And this to where you look like you don't have no lumps. See that? Even if you're making chicken soup, this is how you make some thickening to the soup. Or you make oxtails. This is how you make the thickening to make them nice and thick for the rice or whatever you're going to have. And you just keep it moving in here. Make sure you got all the clumpies out, all the flour is incorporated. And you want it like a liquid form or else it's going to clump when you put it in your pot. So now. I put another little drip and that makes it a little watery but now I'm coming back and getting in this to make sure it's all incorporated and don't think like oh it's too watery no it's gonna thick up in there once it hits that hot water yeah it'll thick up and when you move your bowl from one side to another then you can see down there that you really don't have nothing else these are just the red pepper seeds from the pizza. So I want to make sure all my flour is off. I had a brick of gumbo from the last time I had gumbo because I was saving it for the first rain. I said I'm going to have me a pot of gumbo the first day of rain. But after yesterday I had so much seafood left over. You know, so busy making sure I had enough. Well, I had enough alright. Sort of breaking my chicken off of the bone with drumettes. It's kind of thick. So the chicken's okay to go to pieces. So when I get a spoonful of it, I don't have to so much worry about the bone. Giving this another stir down to the bottom. No clumps there, no clumps there. Now I'm incorporated right in here. Right in here. 
right into this nice hot pot. But I will keep my bowl just in case I need some more something. And then you gotta work and go stir it up. I wish you could see this. And you just stir it. See, this is why you don't wanna have all your mixture in, so that you can have room to move your pot around. It's thickening up now. I can see it getting thicker. The last time I had this gumbo, I put the I had rice left over and I put the dumped the rice in too. So I see my garlic and I see some rice, but I don't see any clumps. So just stir that up a little bit. Mm-hmm. I have my hot links in there cut up. I have the chicken gizzards cut up. It's all good in there. That's good. That's good to go. So we're just going to let that simmer a little bit. I'm going to turn my fire down just a bit. Because it's nice and hot already. Smells so good, you guys. So, so good it smells. Okay. And while this is just going nice and slow, I think I'm going to start my lemon pie. Just to save us some time. getting nice and thick you guys. I don't know if you can see. Yeah you can see from over there. I'm going to show you. See? Getting thick. Nice and thick. Looks good. Just about time for me now to bring in the crab and the shrimp and let everything simmer in you know. And I'm also going to be adding in a bag of okra. So let me get my shrimp, my bag of seafood. Last night I just tossed them in this bag. Gosh, I was full. And I still had a whole bag of stuff left over. Me. That looks good over there, you guys. Hot leaves got it all seasoned, nice and red. Yes, Lord. Yes. Look at those shrimp. I had these shrimp from last night. I just couldn't eat anymore. Right in my pot. And these claws, these were called um, some sort of claw. I forget the name of them. Um, artisan or something like that. Anyway, I'm putting that in there. While that's thickening right on up. Knuckle, tons of shrimp, snow crab, the king crab. I'm gonna see if I can kind of open those up a little more, you know, because I don't want to work with them. Those guys, these things, kind of beat them up. But let's see what I can do. That's cool. Uh, 
I don't want a whole thing. I just want to pick them up and be able to keep going, you know, without killing myself. Oh, this thing is thickening up, guys. I'm really thickening up. I wish you could see it. And these little skinny legs is just like to season up the pot just for seasoning. I'm going to put just a little bit of water in my in my pot. It's like a little bit thick. I might use that later. I'm sure I will because I'm going to want a lot of juice. And it's nothing like getting it nice and seasoned up now. And then trying to add. Well, then guess what? You don't have any hot links. You don't have any hot link juice. You don't have the right juice. So I want to get it all in there now. Right in there. This is good here. I'm going to show you how thick. Let's see. you just like, oh, I want out of here. But I knew I was going to take care of my crab. Another one of these. So it's like, it's like a toucan bird. Reminds me of that. My um squash I had in this bag and corn I never did get to. <laughs> oh god, that was something else yesterday. Now I'm gonna put this bag over here. And these I'm just gonna cut up, you guys, because I don't want to be fighting. I'm gonna add more water into my pot. gonna try to cut them or something to get them in the pot the best way that I can because like I said I don't want these things killing me while I'm trying to eat let's take care of it now we can have 
let's fight right here and right now. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna start in on the pies. Pies don't take long. Really, they don't. That's my, that's probably why the that's my favorite pie because it doesn't take long. <laughs> you know me. I don't like to stay in the kitchen long. Mm -mm, not me. Not me. So I'm gonna start that pie in one second. that are doing mukbangs. I don't too much see them making gumbo, so I hope this helps you guys. And you don't have to um, cut your shrimp, your crab now, but I do it. Like I said, I don't want to get over there and on camera, I'm poking myself. and Yeah. I just started using scissors because I just crack them and use my teeth and go ahead, you know. But now, I gotta chill that out. <laughs> I just make it easier for myself with this. And it looks like, you know, I can pick up one piece and just work with it. But the whole thing, I don't know. If I have bigger ones, yeah. But these little things here, I don't want them just killing me like that for no reason. Not even big. I got another box, a couple boxes of snow, and I got some um, dungeness, but. I don't think I'll need it for just for me. I'll save that for a mukbang. I have Dungeness and King Crab. But I think this is good enough. This is gonna make me mad. <laughs> and that's why I like snow a lot, but that snow is gonna um, make me mad because they are like so small. Hold on. They are too small, that snow. Okay, we're gonna keep it moving. I'm done messing with this. Did you see what I'm talking about? Okay. When I get to that table, it's gonna be grub time. The roux is still thickening. And it's just about right. Yeah. Just gonna add in my uh, okra. And I'm going to put more water. That's what I'm gonna do. And that's how you do the gumbo. It just need to be raining for me right now. That would be awesome. If I could get some raindrops to fall. And now I'm just going to fill my pot up. I look 
so yummy, yum, yum, you guys. That looks very good. Very, very good. I'm going to put more because I'm the type that I'll drink the juice. I'll drink the broth. And then if there's some left, you see what I do. I make a brick out of it. Save it for that rainy day. You know what happens to things that sit. I might have to put a little more um, roux in here. I put a lot of water. But I'll just wait because that flower could creep up on me. Don't forget, I put a lot of flour. So now, all I need to put my okra in. Mm-hmm. Now that's it there. It looks like a little watery now, but that's just because I put all that water in there. But I could easily add more um, roux if I have to. Let that water get nice and hot. Remember, you only add roux when it's bubbling hot. So, let that thing bubble hot. And what I'm going to do is put my okra in. I'll turn it up just a little bit more. Just in case I have to put some more roux, I can. It's already be bubbling hot. Save us some time. I'll check in on it after the pie. Handy dandy scissors. I love okra. Some people don't. I do. So, the whole bag is going. It's an antioxidant. Antioxidant. Yeah. So, it's healthy for you. I'll move that camera one last time when I'm all done. I don't want to keep moving it. I know sometimes I watch TV shows and the cameraman they have. Cameramen are good, wonderful. But if you keep moving that camera, oh boy, I get dizzy. Dizzy. I can't even have to turn my head if I want to hear what's going on. And this is my bag of pepper seeds if you'd like to add more. I am not because the hot links were so spicy even before I put that package in so I'm gonna wait on that I'm gonna cover my pot let that do what it do and over here you guys know I got me some bleach water going okay I'm gonna make the lemon meringue pie now. <laughs> oh my God, I promised you on yesterday, but by the time I did the kids edition in the morning and just kept it right on moving into the evening. And that, that was horrible. My video did not turn out. It was horrible. I deleted it. I got rid of it. But I have, um, remember I was courting with my phone too, so I have some, I have it over there. I'll put that one up. And I'm downloading that as a matter of fact right now. So I'll be able to put them, I'll put it up, not to worry. I didn't lose it because I knew what was going to happen. Okay, I'm going to put my garlic back now so that it stays cold and get this stuff out of the way. Okay. Hey, I'm just 
just gonna rinse out my bowl real quick. I happen to have had grapes in here. So I'm gonna just sit the grapes just right on the side while I wash this bowl out. Hey you guys, I'm so excited. I'm getting ready to eat good, 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 good. And oh yeah, this is my favorite. You ask me my favorite food? It's gumbo. Favorite dish? Gumbo. Okay. Favorite dessert? Eh. Toss up between lemon meringue and lemon cake. I make a mean lemon cake too. I'm gonna have to make that for you. But the pina colada cake is pretty good too. Just maybe because I'm a sweetie. I love sweets now. Oh, I'll get up in the morning, have me a big old chunk of this pie. Before I go to bed, I have me a big old chunk of this pie right here and we're getting ready to make. This is the cracker, the graham cracker shell. I'm using two today. Usually if my sister would come, I had to make about six pies because she wanted to take some home and then we sit around and eat one and I'm telling you guys this thing here woo, it's so nice and light it's really like a summer nice summer dessert I love it quick and easy love it so I take these things off um, when I'm not recording, I don't put a topping on here. But since I'm recording, I'm going to show you the proper way. I'm going to go ahead and make a lemon. I'm going to make some meringue. Speaking of that, I'm going to preheat my oven so I can just pop it right in and it'll be done. I'm over here washing the tops. I got it in my bleach water. It's so groovy in here. These are just the pull-up can. But I got it in my bleach water. Okay. going to put in two cans of Eagle Brand milk. Quite pricey. These are so rich. Really, really rich. Okay, I want to let you know what you're getting yourself into. This alone is really rich. Eagle Brand milk. Oh man, but it's good. And just pop the top. Pour it in. Let me move this pie shell some over here so you can see. There we go. And I get every bit of it off the lid. And I do the best I can to get all I can off the can. Really thick. Really, 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 really thick. But it sets so good. By it being so thick, I have mine like really, really lemony. And that's why I put Philadelphia cream cheese in it. So that it's not so runny. Because I have it so lemony. To cut how sweet the milk is. Oh man, but it's delicious. They make this really strong, you know? 
don't want to cut myself. See how thick that is? So just go in there and get all your milk. it off. My dish rag has bleach, so I use a white one. Okay, again, I don't use any measurements. I'm going to start off right to the, about the top of the hair I would like to go. Just about there. Okay. Like I said, I like to taste my lemon. Okay. So then we go with that. The thick milk. I wish you could see. Well, yeah, you can, huh? See how thick this milk is? The milk is so rich and thick. So, I'm just going to incorporate it with my juice. I'm going to use my blender, but I'm just trying to incorporate all my juice in there. And then I'm going to put Philadelphia cream cheese because it's so runny but this will help it set you might be able to get away without using a cream cheese but the cream cheese gives it a good flavor too almost like a Kahlua cream cheese pie you know from Marie Callender oh man if you ever had a Kahlua cream cheese pie from Marie Callender then you know what I'm talking about. See these come one package of this in there and another package. I'm gonna use half. Cut it clean in half, okay? As soon as I get into it. I like to use the Philadelphia cream cheese too as a dip. You know, just with salsa. Oh man, that's quick and easy too. You see, I told you about quick and easy, you guys. I love quick and easy. Um, this cream cheese, and then the salt, the um, picante sauce. Oh man, and especially after the cheese get room temperature. Yes, you get your life, child. See, right in half, I cut this clean in half. From here, clean in half, right down the middle. And I'm gonna put a chunk of this in there. And that's gonna help it to set. So it doesn't be so runny. Because if not, it'll just be runny and loose and we'll never get it. This should form right back up for you like in about 15 minutes. It should be ready to eat. When you get it nice and going, you know? Just how you want it. 
I'll show you the salsa that I'm talking about so you can see with that Philadelphia cream cheese if you don't already know most of you probably already know about that quick and easy dip so quick and so easy and you know that's what I like look this milk is trying to set now no don't set yet baby because we got this thick cream cheese in here see the cream cheese just sitting in there so thick it's not doing nothing so I'm gonna beat it with the beater with the mixer I got to beat it with the mixer and then I'm gonna taste my mix and make sure it is where I want it because now that I put that chunk of cheese in there that's gonna take away just a little so I'm gonna taste it now and see it's still really thin and runny but right when we put that brick of um, Philadelphia in there this is my Philadelphia oh man my mouth is watering right now. Let me turn that around. I didn't mean. This is it. The mixture still thin, but the cream cheese is gonna make it thick and chunky. And I'm gonna taste my mix and make sure it is lemony enough. If you like, you could put a fresh lemon. You could put a fresh lime. If you like, I'm just gonna taste it and see where I'm at here. My God. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Dude, I can hardly wait. Okay, so I think it's somewhere down here. I'm getting ready to take it to maybe about right in here. Because after I um, do my, lim my um, cheese, I still want it to taste lemony. But I only have two pie shells, so. Woo, but that thing's good. It brought back memories right there. Woo wee. So, here we go with this and that. And let's see, it's my oven. Yeah, my oven's piping hot. Got the Dumbo on point over here. Excuse me just one second while I...